to want bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Oh, I swear. No bag milk. Bag milk. Perfect timing that uh, game number two is on a Wednesday when we have bag milk from Oilers Nation. Thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Yeah. How are you feeling after game one? Pretty confident? Well, no, yes and no. So I think yes, because we know the Oilers can beat the Kings. They've done it the last two seasons. But no in the sense that I just I don't think that anyone should feel comfortable. Like the playoffs are hard, right? Like yeah. I think Vancouver got a dose of that last night against Nashville where a lot of Vancouver fans thought they were just going to roll through the Predators. And then, you know, the Preds found a way to adjust and won 4-1 last night. So... I'm confident that the Oilers can beat the Kings, but I also don't think, like, the job's not done here. This is going to be a longer series than I think some people expect. Yeah, and, and I mean, I saw a thing they were saying, like, if anyone knows that a one nothing series lead isn't safe, it's the Oilers. They've been there before themselves, <laughs> down a game. So, they looked good, though. I mean... It they is- looked really good. I mean, I was at Rogers' place on Monday. Number one, the place was electric. Two, the Cam Talbot chant. I can still hear it. Yeah. Uh... And three, they were getting goals from all over the place. I just think there's a couple of little details they could tighten up. And then, of course, LA got three fluky ones in the same in the same game. So let's hope those are all out of the way. But the Oilers played really, really well. Uh, the building was alive. It was vibrant. It was loud. And I think that probably powered the boys a little bit. But ultimately, um, more of the same, I think, should be on deck. Because, like I said, Vancouver got a little bit of a lesson in that last night. So I hope the Oilers can kind of come through and realize that, you know, this isn't going to be a gimme. Did you uh, lose a hat on Monday night? <laughs> Man, and I love that hat. Too. I really <laughs> did. <laughs> I love that hat, but like, there's one thing. If I'm in the building and there's a hat trick, I'm always throwing it. Always, yeah, you have to. I love throwing it, but like, it was so last minute rushed that I got the tickets for Monday's game that I just kind of like threw a jersey on and left the house, not really thinking about what I was wearing. But <laughs> as it was, I, I was watching the hat float down to the lower rows, and I go, "Man, I'm gonna miss that hat." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see, especially when it, if like you're up top and it doesn't make it to the ice, you're like, someone please throw that on the ice. From the upper yeah, deck. I think mine probably touched two, three hands before it finally got yeah, on the yeah. ice. At least they passed it along. <laughs> um, yeah, Evander Kane's good to go again tonight. Yeah, it looks like it. He played really, really well on Monday, yeah. I thought. I thought he had a good game. I thought he was throwing his body around. I thought he had some nice chances to score. So, like, more of that more of that please i think that uh that's exactly what the oilers need from him and i thought that he played really well on monday so i imagine he's good to go i haven't seen anything else that says otherwise uh according to practice yesterday it's going to be the same line combos as on monday night which makes sense yeah um so i i hope he's feeling good and i hope he's ready to go because the Oilers are going to need him yeah and i think i mean if they just play the same game they played monday night they should be uh pretty successful again tonight another late one eight o'clock game tonight it's the playoffs. We always get the late ones. So. Yeah, we always get the late ones. And then on Friday and Sunday, it's 8.30 for those games three and four. So it's even later on those ones. I was um, commenting because <laughs> this morning there was like more traffic than usual at like 4.30 in the morning. I was like, why is there so many people? And somebody texted in and said like, it's because everyone's going to work early so they can leave early and sleep or, or start pre-drinking before the game. <laughs> so everyone's That's starting smart. a little earlier. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was also thinking even on Monday, I wonder how much productivity was being lost around the city of people just being ready to go. And oh, I know yeah. I, like at least at our office anyway, there was nobody doing anything on Monday afternoon. So Monday, well, then I'm, it's also the season for hangovers, right? So it's like an excuse for people to be a little slow at work the next day too. Um, it is a Friday game, though, on the next one after tonight. Um, and you guys got the watch parties uh, at Greta? Yeah, we're going to be going also all away games. We're going to be doing watch parties at Greta. Those are free to enter. Uh, so first come, first serve is for the seating. But we're going we're gonna to ram that place, and it's going to be a great vibe. And we're going to have a bunch of giveaways, and we're going to have all kinds of stuff going on, including live shows and in-game activations. So if you want to come join us for Games 3 and Game 4, so we're only doing the away games, we'll be at Greta downtown. Because if people haven't been to your watch parties, they have to. They're so much fun. I'm not a huge 
hockey fan, but I love going to those uh, watch parties. You, you guys are so much fun, and the energy is just well. And it's downtown, insane. right? Greta's downtown. You're in the action of of all the playoff excitement, so it's a great place to go and, and watch the game, hang out with the the guys and gals from from Oilers Nation. So yeah, come on down, challenge the staff to one of the games. That's one of the newest things that people have been doing. Oh, like that. challenging our staff to some of the games, and it's been pretty fun to kind of walk through some of those challenges so come on down games three and four will be down there and game six if there is one so you'd plan be, your away games accordingly you'd be surprised how good jimmy is at ski ball maybe he'll have to head down there and take on the oh yeah the nation I'm, I'm insane he's a surprisingly good ski ball player <laughs> Well, there's plenty of lanes down there, Jimmy. Like, get down there and give him a challenge. I, don't I can know see the boys going at it with you. I don't know if it's because he's low to it, so he can, like, see where the ball's going yeah, I'm or even something. even good when I'm drunk. Yeah. It's, I could barely stand, but I could ski ball. It's very surprising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game tonight, uh, game number two. Thanks for joining us. Get some rest just in case you get some last-minute tickets and head to the game tonight, Bagged Milk. I'm hydrating, putting a big breakfast down, getting a base layer just in case. That's what you got to do. OilersNation.com. Thanks, Bag Milk. Thanks, boys.